trying to put Mavis, my 1978 Cavalier, back on the road. Here's what we've done so far. Wouldn't it? This bit here. Historic vehicle. She's running! She's alive! So what's next? The hole in the exhaust. See this hole? It's not supposed to be there. And before I repair it, I need to turn the car around. Let me jack this up and support it, and then I can show you how we got this set up and what I'm going to do. Don't do that. So at the moment, the exhaust is a bit of a hybrid concoction of pipes. Let me show you. So the manifold and downpipe is from the Astra GSI. I just cut it and re-welded it to the position that I needed. Um, and it goes four into two into one. And we have a water leak. Where is that coming from? That is not what I was gonna film. It's okay, I found it. It's here. It's coming out the thermostat, but it actually looks like it's probably coming out the hose, out the jubilee clip. So I can tighten that up. No bother, I'll sort that later. I'm not sorting it later, I'll sort it now. If it's just coming out of that, let's tighten it now before I forget. Click, click, click. Okay, back to what we were doing anyway. The, um, the downpipe, I've welded these flanges on so that the exhaust can bolt together. So I've got a flange here, and then I've got this mismatch of pipes welded at all these funny angles with some more flanges that then go back to the boxes. Okay, so the rear box and the middle box are standard, although this one, I've welded a flange on as well so that this centre pipe can bolt onto it. Originally these would have um, been the slide together exhaust slide up here. I'll show you, you can see the rear box slides into the middle box. I mean, for some reason I've put two clamps on it. You can see it's been welded before. And then 
The reason it's such a funny angle is the original engine, the manifold came out on the driver's side and then the pipe would have run diagonally to about here and then come to this. This is why this is at an angle. So it would have come from here diagonally over there. Obviously with the XE engine or the 1.8 manor engines, the um, exhaust manifold is on the near side. So obviously it comes down. I didn't want it to be, I guess I did this a long time ago. I didn't want it to be too low. So I've run it into the center to try and get it as high as possible, which is why it looks odd. I mean, it worked, but now it has a hole in it. Hello. And it looks like it has a hole as well. It doesn't seem that easy that I can get the two standard boxes for it, but I have found this online. If I get it, I know I'm probably gonna to have to modify it, which is not a problem. I have seen online as well, people that fitted it to the manor and have said that this bracket is uh, sometimes welded in the wrong place and they've had to cut it off and weld it to the correct position. I mean, that's not a problem, I can do that. You can see in the picture that it's, it's actually welded this side and it comes up that way. I mean, that wouldn't be an issue, but obviously if it's out of that angle, we just chop it off and weld it to where we need it to be. We'll have to modify the, um, the tube that comes off the center box um, to the right angle and then possibly we'll keep that as a sliding pipe and then just weld a flange onto the end of that. It also says it has a three inch bore, which I don't know, is that gonna be too big? Also, if it's shorter and fatter, is it gonna foul the number plate? Well, that was in April and we're now at the end of September. And I've done nothing. But I woke up this morning and thought, let's just see if we can actually get the exhaust off. So I'm pretty confident if I undo these bolts that will come apart. However, I have no expectations of that separating. And this box has to go that way and that box has to go that way because it loops over the axle. All right, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed because in the five months that it's been, I seem to have lost my tripod. this but yeah I actually made it look it slides it slides in and out but also has a flange on it to bolt it together I forgot
こ当たんなそれで、これが開いているところに入っているのです。そして、これが開いているところに入っているのです。そして、これが開いているところに入っているのです。そして、これが開いているところに入っているのです。Too bad at all. Okay, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I think I'm going to cut a section out of this and weld a plate onto it. I mean, it's been pretty bodged and welded before to make this. You can see this one's been welded. <laughs> multiple times I think I'm just going to do the same again Okay, not the most amazing work, but as a temporary plate, that'll do for now until we work out what we're actually going to do with the exhaust. Although temporary for me will probably be about 10 years. Okay, so that was the plate that I welded on. Um, I've painted it in high temperature paint just to protect it a little bit. I've done this one as well, although I didn't paint the end of this. For some reason, I decided to polish it. Although it's not stainless steel, it's normal steel, so it's going to rust, but it looks cool at the moment.
source rubber was broken. So I'm just gonna use a cable tie for now. Rubber. Just so it holds it in place. Okay, while I've been doing that, I've had the battery on charge. So let's take it off charge, reconnect it, stick some fuel in it, and hopefully it should start. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it and I'll see you on the next one.